Sure, a good way to improve your English is to surround yourself as much as possible with spoken and written materials in English. Textbooks and grammar books can be very useful, but they don't always contain enough real English communication. Listen to English language radio broadcasts and recordings of books, lectures, podcasts, songs, and poetry. Listen several times until you can answer questions such as who is speaking, what's the topic, what are the main ideas, and try to write down what you hear. Take every opportunity to talk with teachers or native speakers of English. But also, while it's useful to talk English with native English speakers, conversing with other non-native speakers can be just as helpful. Form an English-speaking discussion group with others interested in improving their English. Get together on a regular basis. For example, have lunch together and speak only English over lunch. Watch English language movies or television programs. You can pause the program and summarize the plot, or predict what's going to happen next. Or you can take notes and review the areas that were difficult for you to understand. It's also helpful to watch a video or TV show with a group of friends and discuss the program in English. Find books that you can read without having to look up every word in a dictionary. Reading stories can increase your vocabulary and help you become familiar with different kinds of formal and informal English. Technical manuals, business texts, brochures, magazines, and newspapers can also be useful for building vocabulary. You can also look at the pictures and try to write brief descriptions of what is happening. Visit ESL websites on the internet. Many English language newspapers and magazines also have online editions. And communicate in English online with friends or colleagues through social media or email. Listen to popular music in English. You can practice singing along to acquire the stress patterns of spoken English, and you may learn many new words and expressions in the process. Also, keep a daily journal of your thoughts and activities in English. Set aside a few minutes for writing each day. This will give you a chance to practice new vocabulary and structures. Also, keep track of new words and expressions in a notebook. Write down the context in which you first heard the word or saw the new vocabulary. Then try to use the expression in other examples. There are many ways to improve your English. The key is practice.